<clears throat> the time has come to review these oil pastels. The time is here. Okay, I need to chill. This review has been highly requested. All five people who requested. But anyway, it's been it's been highly anticipated for me. I'm very excited. <laughs> Mira. Oh. Is it French? I don't know. Does it matter? No. Now, I always want to be transparent, so Paul Rubens, the company, has reached out to me, you know, a, a few a, a few times over the past, you know, year and a half to review these oil pastels, but I didn't want to. <laughs> mm. I guess I didn't really look into the company at all, but I just didn't really want to. Sorry, Paul. Sorry. There are certain things that I like to do on my own accord, you know, and sometimes, you know, I just want to do it on my own. But then I started seeing reviews on these Paul Rubin oil pastels that I've, you know, never really seen before. I don't think I ever actually looked into these oil pastels. So uh, I finally looked into them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to buy them. I bought these with my own money. This is non sponsored So chill out. This is going to be my honest review as always. Shall we jump in? Just look at the box. Just look at the damn box. Look at my shirt. And if I end up hitting these oil pastels, I don't want to think negatively, but let me just tell you, they got my heart with the damn box. A plus. And because I always run out of white, I bought another package. Uh, this is like a, a four pack of white. I can't remember how many come in here. This was like $22. And then this was like 10, I think. If I'm wrong, I'll put up the prices. Not that expensive, but it looks so pretty. The last two brands of oil pastels that I've reviewed recently, <clears throat> I deserve some good. If they're not good, I'll find you, Mr. Ruban. Ruban. So let's take a look inside, shall we? I'm not gonna choke you. Mm -hmm. To the desk. Are you ready to open up some oil pastels? As always, this is my desk. Don't judge it. Also, I was so excited for this oil pastel review. I put on lotion. It might not look like it. Shut up. Here we go. Yes, that's my chandelier. I feel like I'm opening up a present. Hold on, let me find something to open up this. I'm using staples. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you ready? Oh, it says, hold on. Don't worry, the best will always endeavor, endeavor, hold on. I don't know what that means. She's, she's really, okay. Oh, I got a booklet. Y'all know how I'm a sucker for booklets. Hold on. Okay. She's in a different language. Love that. Very diverse. They look so, ugh. From what I've seen, they just look so opaque. Ugh, y'all ready. <gasps> okay. First impression. I can see little crumbs on the top. Like I can see it looks slightly dry. They look a little dry, but oh my gosh, is that gold? Oh, they got a... They got a gold in here? Look, they seem a little sticky. And that's a good thing. Slightly tacky. So, as always, is this an oil pastel review from me if I don't do a hand swatch? I always do blue because I love blue. Are y'all ready? Oh. What the hell? Hold on. What the hell? This is Paul Rubin. Okay. This is Mungio. Oh, hell no. And this is Crayola. Oh, hell no. Uh -uh. Now I'm sad because I know they're going to be trash. <laughs> Breathe. What the hell is this? Hold on. Maybe I need a... This is the most similar color to... Act Let's try this one. Okay. A little better. They don't really have a similar color to this one. Let's try this guy. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe that one was just a little too light. I got scared. Okay. Okay, so we're working with something. Okay, creamy. Okay, okay. My heart is back where it was supposed to be. I see how creamy it is. Oh, that's Mungio, Crayola, and that's Paul Rubin. Okay, I'm not scared no more. Okay. Let's get some fancy shots. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. It's so pretty. I like this color. This is my, I like this color. I'm gonna try this one. Oh, stop. I need to chill out before I get evicted. Get off my head. Damn. This is my inspo. <laughs> if you know, you know. Where do I begin with this first drawing? Let me tell you, with these oil pastels, you would want something, you would want to do something a little bit bigger. That's all I'm going to say. So, you, when doing this on a smaller scale, 
it was really hard to get all these details that I wanted to get in the face. As you will see, I started getting really frustrated with myself. Um, it would, was just not working out. Not At least not in the way that I wanted it to work out. Um, I did scrape off the eyes, as you can see here in just a second. Yeah, just was not working for me. I'll let y'all finish watching. There's a couple seconds left. I gave up. So that drawing did not work out. I'm gonna use a bigger pad. So far, so good though. I really do like them, but I need to work bigger because it's gonna, I need, I need to really test it out. I'm working bigger, so. I was trying to do too much at once and it was not working, so part two. So this next drawing was pretty much, you know, the same kind of inspiration as the first one. I wanted to do like that, that really close cut, that really 90s looking cut. I don't know why, I'm obsessed with that hair right now. Um, as you can see, it doesn't look anything like the reference because I stopped looking at it. Uh, it was pretty much just the hair. Now, I wanted to go a different route with this. So instead of jumping right into color, I kind of went in with that brown that I used for the sketch and kind of figured out where my values were. So I knew where to place some of the colors. As you can see, I still it went in with some, uh, very strange colors. I wanted to test everything out. This is a very rainbow looking lady. One thing I've noticed about oil pastels like these, oil pastels that are very sticky and creamy, they don't necessarily stay as contrasted as I would want. So as I'm blending around and everything, they it loses a lot of contrast. I don't, I'm not exactly sure why. I'm not a scientist, so I, 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 I don't know exactly what to tell you. I'm sorry, but like the dark blues and the dark purples, even black, they don't stay as dark as I'd want. And I think that's partially because these oil pastels you know, once you actually put them on a surface, they turn really shiny. And that's even without a fixative or a spray. They're just very shiny. And that, you know, that is a good sign for some because that means it's a good oil pastel. That really just depends on pers personal preference. I'm not used to it. I'm used to very, very matte oil pastels. Very hard. Um, semi. Some of them are even translucent. Um, but they're very matte. These have a, a cute sheen to them but it's just something that you might have to get used to. I'll let y'all finish because I'm done talking. There's not much left in this one, I promise. And we're done. Look at that shine. You know what I mean? That You see that little shine, especially on the darker colors? Check it out. Let me know. And that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I'm just playing. So the drawing you just saw was actually months ago. I actually tried these oil pastels out a long time ago and I wanted to rejuvenate myself before I made my final thoughts. With that being said, I had to make another drawing to really get a good idea of what these oil pastels can do. So I'm making another drawing. I don't know what to tell you. You have to stay a little bit longer to get my final thoughts. Let's go back to the desk. Hi guys, this is the AMR section of the video. I hope you <sighs> just kidding i would never put you through that not me whispering hi guys this is a drawing no i wouldn't i wouldn't put you through that i might <laughs> never mind i might so anyways i'm going in with this bluish yellow color it's not green shut up as i did with the other drawing i'm kind of you know blending getting a good idea of where my values are and where I would possibly want to place all these colors. This is where I ran into some problems because some of the darker colors, you, they just won't show up as dark as I wanted. It was just a little hard getting the values down that I was anticipating, if that makes sense. There's really no inspiration to this piece. I mean, it's pretty much just, I wanted to really draw a person with a flat top and I just love it. I don't know why, but I just like flat tops. I've always wanted a crispy ass flat, flat top when I was younger, but I could never really achieve it, sadly. I My hair wasn't as dense, and it still is not as dense as it once was, sadly. I'm getting old, shut up. Midway through this drawing, I realized, damn, I, I wanted to go a lot darker with this piece. I wanted to 
show the depth of these oil pastels but like i said like i mentioned earlier because these oil pastels are so sticky once i started blending with my finger because these are very shiny as well when i started blending you could see the sheen you could see the the light was bouncing off the oil pastel on the surface so it just appeared lighter than it really was it was just frustrating this piece was a little frustrating i still ended up liking it but uh, it was a little frustrating working on it and it took forever Oh my gosh, did this piece take forever to make. Th that's because these oil pastels are very, very, very creamy. I'll, I, I'm not going to spoil nothing because that's going to be my final thoughts. But uh, yeah, I was... <clears throat> Anyways, I was putting down a layer for the hair. The, they layer really well. And they even scratchy scratch really well. But that's that's I'll show y'all soon. But even getting like a, a even surface when i'm doing like especially a dark spot that it just looked very muddy and very i don't even know how to explain it it just looked a little you could see all my paw prints everywhere it just wasn't cute i wanted to do something a little different with the background because these are new oil pastels i wanted to try something new i want to try something new and I, I'm, I'm not mad at it at all so i kind of added white in the what positive negative spaces i don't know not not a fan of this part doing like a outside teal looking thing i didn't like that i don't know why i did that i think i was just kind of getting lazy because i was i'm left-handed right so every time i was working on it i felt like i was smearing as you can see when i was even doing the scratchy scratch <laughs> I'm sorry. I almost forgot. I also forgot to film the scratchy scratch in the face. So that's funny, but it looks really cool cool in the face. It kind of glows. Ah, it's glowing. So I decided to actually put some fixative on it. This is Sennelier fixative. And let me tell you, those darks got so much darker. Look, even the hair. It got dark. And watch, I'll see. Look, look at the difference. Left side and the right side. You can see the darkness right now. I did it even with the the first one, just to really test it out. Check it out. Look at I look what I do to the hair. I, I shine one side and look at that compared to the other side. Crazy, crazy. It's time for my final thoughts. I even wrote some stuff down. My final thoughts on Paul Rubin oil pastels. Let's get into it. Now doing a second drawing with these oil pastels, I actually learned so much on what and what not to do and what these really feel like as oil pastels and what they mean to me. What these oil pastels mean to me. Let's start with the pros. The first pro with these oil pastels is they're very creamy. What more can you ask for with the oil pastel? Creamy. They glide. They're smooth. They're creamy. They're creamy. What I mean, what else do you want me to say? Creamy for me is a pro and a con. It depends how creamy, and I'll get into that later. The next pro to these oil pastels is they're very easy to blend. You don't have to break your fingers when you blend. You have to just slide softly over the surface of the oil pastel. And that is amazing for people who know how to blend and know what colors go with which. What's also really nice about these oil pastels is that they layer really well. So what I mean by that is some oil pastels, when you layer on top of each other even if it's just a line that layer on top is not going to be opaque they're going to blend with each other and they're going to be all weird with these oil pastels when you put a layer down wait a little bit and you can put a layer on top and it'll be just as opaque you can see the color it's amazing most of the colors in here are opaque some are not some are very translucent but that goes with every oil pastels not all oil pastels can be like super opaque because that just means that there's gonna be a lot of uh, like white in it, so which is just pretty much pastel colors and uh, whatever. This might be a little controversial, but I do believe that these are very good knockoff Sennelier oil pastel. I said it. Am I saying Sennelier right? Yeah, let's get into the cons. The first con to these oil pastels is that they're very sticky. When you get into higher quality oil pastels, they're all gonna be sticky. They're all gonna be super creamy. They all have that same consistency, right? However, these have a stickiness that is creamy and crumbly. Let me explain. These oil pastels might be smooth, creamy, but they crumble at the same time. Some colors crumble a lot more than others, especially when you use a lot of uh, pressure. What makes me mad is you can't really 
you know, use a paintbrush and like kind of flick away the crumbles because it's so damn sticky. Sennelier does not do that. When they crumble, when Sennelier crumbles, they kind of glide into the texture of what, what you're drawing. These kind of just crumble, but they stay there. So when I was finishing up the second drawing, I had to use my little screwdriver to kind of pick up the, the weird bits. Now I like texture, don't get me wrong. I love a good texture, but these don't seem like the type of oil pastels that make it a cute texture. This was the first one. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of inconsistencies with the texture. Some parts are super smooth and you can actually see the texture. It looks like a paintbrush, but some crumble like crazy. And you can't really flake off those crumbles because it'll just smear everywhere because they are so creamy and so sticky. When I tell you doing the scratchy scratches in this, it was a nightmare. It took forever because I had to make sure I wasn't smearing all over the surface. And honestly, it just wasn't a fun experience. Picking up all those sticky, scratchy, scratch oil pastels off this damn surface. And because these oil pastels are so sticky, they're also very shiny. So yes, I did spray these with the uh, Sennelier Fixative. Fixative. And it kind of left like a, a sheen, as you can see, it left a sheen. You can touch the surface without it smearing, which is nice, but it really didn't help with all the fingerprints all around it that just make it look dirty. It don't look smooth. It, it kind of does. Actually, I take that back. It kind of looks smooth. I don't know, it could look smoother. I think the reason why I didn't really enjoy these oil pastels is because I am so used to a harder oil pastel because there is really no control with oil pastels like these. And I'm not gonna lie, this probably took me about twice as long as it would if I was just using the oil pastels I'm used to. Also, side note, which one do you guys like more? Which one is your favorite? This is cute, this one's cute, but I like this one more. With all that being said, I do believe these oil pastels have a great possibility in my hands, but I do think they have a greater possibility in somebody else's hands that are used to the juicier, creamier oil pastels. I think I just need to work with these a little bit more to really get a good feel of them. But all in all, I think these are really good oil pastels. Are they my favorite? No. Do I have a favorite anymore? Not really. I kind of use different oil pastels, a whole bunch of them in one piece now. We'll see who comes out on top. So far, these are kind of mid to high range oil pastels. I think these are definitely worth your money, even though they should be paying me to say this. I don't know if I would use this for another portrait, but I would definitely use it for a background. I would definitely use it for landscape, cityscape, things like that. Things that are very expressionist. Try these out and let me know in the comments if you've already tried them out and let me know what your uh, opinion on these are because I don't know, I'm kind of mixed. Also, let me know if you have any recommendations on oil pastels to use in the future because I'm kind of running out of ideas. And if you want to see any more of my reviews, go ahead and click one of these boxes that will have my playlist of oil pastel reviews. Keep it juicy, keep it fresh. And as always, let me know if you have any questions, concerns in the comments below. Also, do not forget to subscribe and click that little bell so you know when I post because I am a little random.